Hi, good morning. Morning. Just the three of us. It is September 22nd, 2022. Oh, 92222. Mm. You watched our last video. We told you why we had left Pennsylvania so early. We were going to join a caravan. Uh, we did join that caravan uh, on September 5th. And if you haven't been watching us on Facebook, you've missed a lot of stuff. Because that's where we've been posting our daily activities. It's so much easier just to post a bunch of pictures, tell you where we're at and what we're doing. Right. So when we got to Camp Verde... They gave us a trip log to tell yeah. us what we would be doing and the events we would be going on. Yep. Which has uh, been a real great uh, guideline. Uh, even though I knew every place we were going, there were two changes in the route that I had expected us to go on and uh, anyway it changed. It changed. <laughs> it changed. It doesn't matter. No. It's like 900 and something miles was the total trip. 996 miles was the total trip. So we'll tell you, we'll give you a brief of what we did so far and if you <laughs> want to go see a bunch of pictures which we highly recommend it, please, please go to our Facebook page. That's Open Omas at Camping Adventures. Open okay? Omas Camping Adventures on Open Facebook. Open on Facebook. Opa and Omas, mm -hmm. Poster BS, Camping okay. Adventures. So anyway, we got to Sedona on September 5th. What did we do when we got there? We we got orientation. Station, there was a welcome party. Yep. Um, we saw Montezuma the next day, that's what we did on the first day. We're going to do this. this Are is, we going to do it in order? We're okay. going to do okay. the 17 days that we've done. Okay. So on the 6th of September. On the next day, we don't have to do day. the dates. Okay. On the next day, we went to Montezuma Castle National Monument. Which was not too far away from the campground. Right. So we got to experience that. And those pictures are on Facebook. Yeah. Hold your book steady. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can skip all that because we didn't all right. do that. Now, we chose to do one of the optional uh, excursions, and that was to ride the pink jeeps. Now, we have some, uh, we have pictures of that. We don't, I don't think we have too much video uh, uh, of that. Maybe, maybe I'll try to throw a uh, montage or a marquee of pictures and stuff of the whole trip with no words or nothing. Just put a bunch of pictures in, but again, you really just need to go to Facebook. So we did the optional pink Jeep tour. Right. Uh, the next day we actually went, and oh, by the way, that was in Sedona, Arizona. Sorry. That was in Sedona, Arizona, yes. Then uh, on the next day we had a welcome dinner. Okay, we don't need all the dinners and stuff. We just want the events. Right. So the next day we went to, okay, oh, there say. you go. There's the word that you need to pronounce. Okay, I'm going to tell it. Tell it. Packy, Telepaki Arts and Craft Village. Right. Where we took a guided tour of uh, Sedona's famous Red Rock. And um, the Holy Cross Church. Right. If you know anything about Sedona, two beautiful spots you have to see. And then our driver t went one step further and took us up to the airport. And we got a beautiful area view of the Sedona area. Right. So, and, and the next we day, we drove to Williams. Uh, Arizona. Arizona, where we got all situated, where the following day we took a train up to the Grand Canyon. Right. Great train ride. And what we liked about it is every time we went to uh, the Grand Canyon, we always stayed on the east side of the South Rim, right. which was the visitor center area. Right. The train goes on the west side of the South Rim, and we jumped on the bus and we went as far as we could for the limited time that we were there. We were only there for three hours. Uh, we had a wonderful lunch. They had a, they packed us a lunch. It was delicious. People were walking up to us and go, Where did you get that? Where, where did, did you what, get where, what place sells sandwiches like that? I mean, our sandwiches were nice and thick. And really tasty and we had a good, good time. And, and from my view of the Grand Canyon, where we stopped on this trip, I think it is more beautiful than the other side of the Grand Canyon. Yeah, if you ever get the opportunity, even if you don't take the train ride <laughs> up, try to get to the buses that take you all the way over to the west side of the South Rim. 
the views there, I we think, were actually more beautiful than over there on the visitor side. And you, now, of course, when you first see the visitor side, you go, wow. Right. But believe me, it's a super wow if you go and to you, the other side. You definitely, if you ever get a chance to take the train ride, you definitely want to do it. It is fabulous. We really train ride was it. a lot of fun. Okay. So then, uh, no, go back. Oh, wait, we, were there, we were there for... Uh, oh. A few oh yeah, we were only there for two days. Right. I'm sorry. So then the next day, on our way to Holbrook, we stopped at Meteor Crater. Uh, if you remember, uh, if you've ever been to Interstate 40, you'll see the sign. There's a there's an RV park there which we actually stayed at, but on the but we went behind the RV park. There's a crater there that for the longest time they actually thought was a volcanic crater. Comes to find out, it, it was a meteor crater. And inside they have a piece of rock that probably about uh, you know three foot uh, wide and yeah. and at least uh, fourteen to sixteen inches tall and the same width. And uh, they have a little sign there and it says that it weighs two thousand pounds. That's a heavy rock. Right. It was a big rock. There's a picture on Facebook with me standing by. Facebook on pictures on Facebook. Yep. Uh, then, in route, we stopped and had lunch in Winslow, Arizona, and we did a group picture on the corner, standing on the corner in Winslow. Right. And then we, then the, then we got to our next camping stop. Then we, we camped in uh, Holbrook. Holbrook, Arizona. The next day, it was uh, on your own to go look at the Petrified Forest mm -hmm. and the Painted Desert. Beautiful. It's a nice, it's like a 30 mile drive through the petrified forest and into the painted desert. Right, and it, it, more pictures. Yes, absolutely. Uh, then we went to Gallup, New Mexico, which we've, we've been there many times. Mind you, we've been there many times, but we never knew that there were so many things to see until we went on this. Caravan tour. Now we don't have to go back to Gallup. We've seen that. We've, we've seen. We've seen. We've seen it all now. And really, we never knew all that stuff existed in Gallup. I I think when you go on a tour like this, and they they put it all in one package, and you go out and see all this stuff, it's like wow. Yeah. There's it's stuff that you wouldn't do if you were traveling by yourself. If you just went from yeah. park to park to park, you wouldn't know about these places. Now, granted, this next place that we went to was like a two-hour bus ride to get to. It was the um, Canyon de Chelly mm -hmm. National Park. And we did a private tour there where they uh, got some Jeeps and took us up through the canyons. Oh, oh my, my God, gosh, what was, a beautiful it ride. Was, it was amazing. Absolutely it was beautiful. really amazing. Where are the pictures? On Opanoma's Camping Adventure on Opanoma's Facebook. Opanoma's Camping Adventures. So we've slacked a little bit on our YouTube channel, but believe me, you've missed a lot. You missed a lot. <laughs> so then, on the way back from the canyon, we stopped at what they call the uh, Hubble Trading Post. Now, the Hubble Trading Post is one of the first um, trading posts in the area uh, for the Indians to help them redevelop after they were chased off the off of the. Uh, grounds of that part of uh, Arizona because uh, uh, Chile and Hubble are actually in Arizona yes. in in the yes. Navajo Nation yeah, absolutely. so uh, anyway you, it was worth stopping it was interesting <coughs> to know that that's still a trading post active today yeah that's what made it really interesting absolutely uh, on the uh, on Okay, we'll catch them up with the date to learn where we're at. We're uh, Thursday, the uh, 15th of September. Uh, we opted not to go shopping at a different trading post. We heard about a place called the Ice Caves and the Bandera uh, volcano. volcano. So we said, well, let's go take a car ride and let's go see that. And apparently we were the only ones that even made that made trip. Made that trip from, from but, the caravan. But it was it was really worth it. We'd walk down towards the ice cave, and we were only at the mouth of the ca uh, ice cave, and it felt like somebody opened up the freezer doors. I mean, the temperature dropped right now. Yep. 
supposedly it never gets any warmer than 31 degrees inside the cave. Now, there wasn't any ice hanging off the roof like we were expecting or like some of the pictures we saw. Right. But it was very interesting to see. And it was cold down in that cave. When this volcano blew, it blew sideways, kind of like a uh, um, Mount St. Helens type of thing, but underground, and it kind of blew up. And when it did that, uh, it opened up the underground caves where all that cold air is. Right. And it was, it was great. And we got to walk around the volcano, and we really had a nice walk. Yep. It was, enjoy it was enjoyable. So then we moved to uh, Monument Valley. In Utah. In Utah. And uh, went to Golding, Golding's um, campground. And believe me, if, if you're doing this on your own, you would have never even known that campground was there. Beautiful campground. Well, you know the KOA is there. And if you have like RV Trip Wizard or something, it would show that campground. Because mm -hmm. um, it's kind of tucked up into uh, one of the mesas. Where the KOA is out in the middle of the flat, uh, valley floor where you can see all the monuments. But you miss some great pictures. <laughs> some yeah. Morning yeah. pictures and arrival pictures. Blue sky, white clouds, red rocks, green trees. All in the same picture. Right. Um, again, maybe I'll get all those pictures together and just put a montage together. Um, the next day we took a uh, Jeep ride into the uh, into Monument Valley. It's about 17 miles. Private. It's a private ride. A private ride by the Navajo. We had a Navajo driver. And you, this is part of Fantasy RV Tours. Yeah, all of the, everything that we've done, up, with the exception of Ice Caves, was part of this tour. Right. So it was really well worth it. Um, but it was beautiful and we got to see all the monuments in Monument Valley. Yep. They're a little shopping on these little places. Beautiful. And we beautiful. were there, oh, we were only there two days. I thought, why did I think we were there three days? And we really had a great tour guide. Yep. Um, then on uh, the 19th, we uh, traveled to uh, Bloomfield. Bloomfield, New Mexico. That was just a travel day. But we had an optional, if we wanted to go see it, it was free. You just had to drive to it. Uh, go see the Aztec National Monument. And it wasn't far from our campsite. Not at all. Not at all. Five miles, maybe? Yep. Which leads us up to our current location. We are in Chama, New Mexico. Chama. It is a real place. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> yesterday, uh, so we arrived here on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Yes. Yesterday, we took a... Uh, uh, like an 1880 train ride uh, up to, um, what's the name of that town again? Oceria? Ocier. Ocier, Colorado. It was uphill all the way. <laughs> it was over 10, when we got to the top, it was over 10,000 elevation. Yep. Cumbris Pass was 10,000, 15 feet above sea level. I think here we're about 8,200. Right, and that, let me let me see if I can pronounce this right. It's called the Com Combrades and Toltec Narrow Gauge Railroad. Did right. I say that right? Gauge. So, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, don't put it in front of the camera. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, um, so we did that. That was fantastic. When we got up there, we were lucky because it, it's... Uh, the following year, but when there's a train that goes to uh, from Astontia, and, and comes from the and other way, and they meet at the center part. Antonio. And Antonio, Antonio. Hey, <laughs> boy, we have two hey. names up awful. Yeah. But anyway, two trains meet. We all went in for a buffet. The first train got there. They ate first. The second train came. They ate. Those going back. To, to Antonia. 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 That's Antonia. it. Antonia. Antonia. Those going back would get on the train we just got off of because that train was going to be one way. Those coming back to Chama would get on the train that just came from Macedonia. Right. So that was us. So we got to ride that train back down the hill. We had a great lunch. Yep. Uh, so the what I wanted to say about that uh, building... Um, I guess like last year or something, uh, they didn't have lunch up there because it had caught on fire. The kitchen caught on fire, so they had to renovate it. 
they did a great job on the renovation and uh, a reservation. Renovation. Renovation. <laughs> renovation. Um, and uh, the place is great. The food was good. Right. So, anyway, we're getting down to our last week. Uh, there was an event today, but they told us that uh, if, if it was raining, which we were having, and it was going to be heavier rain, that the trip was going to be limited to what you could do. Um, we chose not to go with about half of our half neighbors of our, or half of half our half attendees. Of our, right. Because uh, the bus looked pretty empty this morning when it took off. Right. Um, uh, what we have left is we're going to Taos tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Tomorrow's a travel day. Yep. We're going to be doing a river raft trip. And uh, what else? What else are we doing? River raft and a trolley. And a trolley. Uh, Historic trolley ride of Taos, yep. New Mexico, New Mexico. And then we're going to move to our final spot, which is Santa Fe, um, which is going to include a walking tour of downtown. Uh, there's an optional uh, trolley tour, which we could check into. Oh, there on, on the second to the last day, uh, there's an optional visit uh, Los Alamos, Manhattan Project Historic Site. I would be interested in that. Okay. And then the farewell dinner. And then this is all over on the 29th of September. Oops. I kicked the, uh, kicked the camera. What do you have in your coffee? Sweetie? I don't know. <laughs> so as far as the trip goes, let me check the camera real quick. Make sure I didn't knock you askew too far. Maybe have Marie out of the frame or something. Okay, we'll put her back in there. So is it still recording? It's still recording. We got 12 minutes before the battery goes dead. So what we wanted to add in addition to that is to catch up on how did the trip go. Well, oh, the fantasy tour is great. Oh yeah, ab absolutely. We would recommend anybody. To absolutely, take this. if you're interested in doing a caravan trip, we because we didn't we we weren't we didn't all have to leave at the same time. They gave us a window. Hey, the wagon master's leaving at seven. Uh, the uh, tail gunner's leaving at ten. If you can leave in between, great. Right. Uh, you team up with somebody and then go. Hey, let's let's travel together, and you and you hit the road. Our last segment coming here was the closest we've ever been in a group. Oh, yeah. we, there was four of us. Yes. Five. No, five. I forgot about uh, Pam and Jim behind us. Pam and Jim. There was five of us. And uh, it does make it a little slow if you if you congregate like that, you know, because you know some people don't have the limitations of you know of their motor home or whatever, or uh, uh, pulling a trailer. Right. So, uh, but it it was uh, <clears throat> interesting. Right. You're not when you're on these caravans. You're not in a hurry. Uh, you have all you have the activities that we just told you, but there's more activities. And there's um a little side activities. Evening, evening. An evening dinner. Dinners, not every night, but. And then me, you're not going to go home. And then the night before you travel, you have a a trip meeting. A trip meeting. They go over the exact route that uh, is expected to be taken, because the tail gunner will be looking for you. If you're pulled over on the side of the road and you're having problems, the tail gunner is supposed to stop. And assist you in getting assistance. Then, and that's, there's no, there's no, nothing there that says that he's going to fix your problem. Right. But he's going to make sure he doesn't just leave you there. Right. He's going to say, what do you need? What's the problem? Okay. Well, when I get a cell phone service or or something like that, we'll make sure we get help on the way. And that's the tail gunner's job. They do recommend everybody has a roadside assistance program. Uh, and they do recommend that you take the routes that they give you. Otherwise. Right. If you're broke down, the tail gunner's not going to find you because you're not going the way you're supposed to go. Right. Okay. So, now the trip, <clears throat> uh, what I wanted to do is go briefly over uh, any problems that we've had. Not major problems, but just to let you know, you know, these trips aren't carefree. I'll start with snap pads <laughs> on the camper. Uh, we lost one someplace before Oklahoma. We bought four. We lost another one in Winslow. Somebody found that. And then when we got to Golding, we got a campsite that we really shouldn't even try to get into. And it tore one of the, it broke one of the snap pads. So there's our snap pad problem. Um, we have an issue that uh, when we lift the uh, camper for reconnect, after I do a flush, 
we get uh, a little bit of water coming out the back end. So I think the spray nozzle connection to the black tank might be loose because it's the only time we see water when we lift up the front for a reconnect of the truck. Right. Uh, the fireplace has gone out again two more times. Well, twice since twice. We, we found the problem. Uh, it has something to do with the electrical connector going next to the coil. Uh, I fixed it a second time. It seems to be holding up, uh, so no complaints there. And finally, what else? Get my note. Excuse me. Oh. I'll make sure I have my frick out my notepad. Uh, let me find it. Keep continuing. That's all I know on the camera. That's camp all there. you know. Oh, I wasn't prepared for that. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh yes. No. Okay. Okay, so the fireplace, the water. Okay, we always said that. Well, I don't have it on here. Okay. So that's with the camper. So very minor problems. Uh, still can't use the garage because we're packed up for quartzite. Right. The truck. When we got the Camp Verde, I had a check engine light. One of the other um, uh, RVers had one of those code checkers. He says, I, it, I think it's just a fluke. Let's just clear it. It never came back. Um, the other problem was... Um, uh, when we got here, it said leave engine running. We're cleaning the uh, with the exhaust uh, filter. Muff filter or muffler or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And uh, I was in the need of fuel, so I drove like 20 miles away to help burn off or clean out the exhaust muffler. I shut it off, filled up with fuel, turned it back on, and that problem went away. Um, I think the only reason I could think that that problem occurred is we weren't, when we drove here, we weren't driving that hard, so we didn't generate enough heat to burn off some of that soot. That's the only thing I That's can true. think of. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, everything's going well. We're averaging for 3,600 miles that we've done so far since we left Pennsylvania, we're doing 10.1 miles to the gallon. So no complaints there. Uh, fuel prices, uh, have been kind of fluctuating. Uh, we didn't get as low as we wanted. I think I would say we're averaging about 450 a gallon. Right. Because if it's over that, I usually say I can wait with that auxiliary fuel tank. Auxiliary fuel tank's really been helpful. Yes. Especially when we left Gallup, uh, we didn't have to fuel again until we got to uh, Dolce, D U L C E, Dolce, Dolce, which is part of the Apache uh, reservation. They had, it, this was Indian fuel that I bought for four thirty one a gallon. Right. But I made it that far. And now my calculations say I don't need to buy fuel again until after the balloon fiesta, which is where we're going after we get done with this. They, they might as well know. By the time they see this yeah. video. On a, we're going on another caravan tour. No, well, it's, it's a not rally. Well, it's a rally for the Albuquerque balloon fiesta. We're going to, yeah, we're going to the... Uh, so we're going to take one week, go spend a week in a Corps of Engineer park, and then we're going to go and do the balloon fiesta, and then we're going to do some more touring. Uh, I mean, we're going to be on the move for just under two more months before we finally get to court site. Right. So keep watching. I know this is kind of boring because we didn't include pictures and videos and stuff. Probably when I get to court site, I'll put that montage together to show you what we've done up to date. Right. But okay. keep watching Open Oma's Camping Adventures on Facebook if you want to see daily pictures of all our activities. That's the best way to keep track of what we're doing. I mean, we've gained probably, I don't know how many more subscribers since they started seeing our uh, travels there. Right. And we've met a lot of great people from all over. Louisiana, Arkansas, Canada. Great people and everybody looks out for each other and everybody helps each other out if needed. Yep. And we are having a great, great Except for time. Ethel. She still don't get along with other dogs. No, Ethel. She loves all the people, but not other dogs. Yeah, yeah. Well, she actually likes one dog. She likes Allie, which is our neighbor, our friends that we met from Arkansas. She and likes her she likes uh, Allie, Shih Tzu. And she's a Shih Tzu, and Ethel's a Chihuahua Shih Tzu, and she butters up to her just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I was kicked it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so... That's pretty much it. Hopefully I haven't run out of battery life yet. 
Uh, we're going to get this popped in here and get it uploaded to you. Um, uh, so from Chama, New Mexico, uh, have a great day. And uh, we'll see you maybe in another week or two. Keep watching. Bye. Bye. Hey, that rain stopped.